Hello everyone, welcome to the launch event of the most powerful release of Tally that we have ever made. Tally Prime 3.0 Simplicity Ka Naya Avatar. First and foremost, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you for your unwavering support and invaluable inputs through the development process of Tally Prime. Your contributions have been instrumental in shaping this product. I want to spend a few minutes and share my thoughts on why this release is such an important and exciting one. Business owners in India have seen a major shift in the compliance landscape. The GST journey began six years ago and it transformed indirect taxation for businesses. We have seen many businesses take advantage of this and that has in turn led to a rapid increase in the number of businesses registered for compliance. In these six years, the government of India has also taken steps to simplify the compliance process. We have seen changes of tax rates, simplifications in the returns and in the returns filing process, including rollouts of a more connected infrastructure with e-way bill and e-invoicing being introduced. All this has been done to help improve how we, business owners, can really grow. We have also seen dramatic changes in the digital payments and banking landscape that drives incredible convenience in the way we run our businesses. UPI, a made in India innovation that is not only incredibly popular amongst many of us, but is also something that is being exported to the rest of the world. At Tally, we have kept our eye on building products that are a joy to use in a complex and changing environment. And to this end, I am extremely proud to announce the launch of Tally Prime 3.0 Simplicity Ka Naya Avatar. Over the last several months, we have been tirelessly at work to build a completely new GST solution. A solution that we believe will make compliance not just simple, but delightful. We have also taken the most powerful reporting engine and made it even more powerful. Again, with the simplicity and delight you have come to expect from Tally. I can honestly go on and on with this release with the many features and enhancements that have been made to help owners, operators, CEAs and tax practitioners. But today, we will share with you eight incredible experiences that we are super proud of. To take us through this, I will hand it over to our head of product, Abhishek Dalmia and his toughest customer, our head of the India business, Joyce Ray. Thank you, Tejas. And hello, everyone. I am Abhishek, and I lead product management at Tally. Hi, I am Joyce, business head for India at Tally. Abhishek, I am really curious to know about this new avatar of Tally Prime. Let's start with how the compliance environment in India, especially post GST, has enabled businesses to expand their reach, managing multiple locations in different states, venturing into newer categories, etc. This, prior to GST, was a fairly cumbersome process with several compliance bottlenecks. But in the last few years, we have seen the number of entities registered to pay in direct tax grow by nearly 60%. While GST has certainly spurred this growth, this still comes with its challenges. How are we solving this complexity for multi GST in businesses in 3.0? It's so an extremely valid point to start with, Joyce. With businesses growing and expanding to other states, there's been a challenge for companies with multi GST to toggle between multiple books for indirect taxation and then consolidating that for direct taxation and other operational matters. But now, with Tally Prime 3.0, you can maintain multi GST in data in a single Tally company. This gives tremendous flexibility to the customers to maintain their business data centrally using multi GST in capability in 3.0. In 3.0, you can create multiple GSTs easily and manage all the GST requirements in various locations in various states. Now moving on, recording of transactions, you can record transactions across GSTNs very easily. Let's quickly go to the sales voucher. You can see 
that the multi gstin is flagged to a voucher type which will help tally to identify transactions recorded by the users against each multi gstin also quickly record the business transactions for another gstin the user will have the flexibility to change the gstin with ease wow this is definitely a big and a very powerful offering for companies with multi gstn i can imagine a lot more benefits as all the data will remain in one tally company including mis reports party outstandings etc these can now be centralized thus ensuring easy access to essential data at your fingertips i do have a slight clarification this simplicity also brings about an important implication according to gst rules each gstn must maintain a specific voucher series for passing entries it's not possible to have one voucher number series across different gstns how can a business manage this situation effectively great question joyce in 3.0 we have introduced a concept of maintaining different voucher series under the same voucher type to clarify further under a sales voucher you can now manage multiple voucher series and record transactions related to different tins in a different series this seamlessly takes care of gst requirements now handling multi gst tin is as simple as creating multiple ledgers and toggling between them this save time when recording the data and also streamlines the analysis great now i know why it's called simplicity ka naya avatar hold on joyce we are just getting started on this now that we have seen how the voucher gets recorded for multiple gst tins let us now see how we can view the gst returns let's take a look at gstr 3b by default the report will be generated for all the tins put together as a business owner it is important for me to know my total itc and total gst liability across all my tins to effectively plan my cash flow with release 3.0 you can get this view with great ease moreover tally prime's powerful save view gives flexibility to the users to save any gst report gst invoice for quick access the speed at which the reports opened for multiple gstns at the same time is terrific i'm just imagining apart from businesses how efficient and time saving it will be for cas and gstps they can work on multiple returns or assess gst invoice or consolidated itc and liability for their customers from a single tally company especially given the fact that a lot of this is happening on the last date of the filing since we are discussing returns and you mentioned itc having a check on the gstr 2b as per the gst portal becomes very important for any business to be able to find out which of their suppliers have not uploaded their invoice reconciling with their books and finally determining the itc value accurately is a headache but businesses are somehow managing to do this abhishek do you have the magic pill for this yes joyce 3.0 is the magic pill as you rightly said gst in allows itc only based on the gst r 2b which is pre filled and is available on the portal in release 3.0 we have introduced a very simple way to import the gstr 2b and match it with the entries you have in your books it will clearly indicate if there is a difference and you can take appropriate actions to avoid any loss of itc in addition the magic really lies in the fact that once you import gstr 2b it remains saved in the company data one can refer to it at any point in time without needing to reimport as you can see there are multiple sections in gstr 2b and once you import tally shows you which sections are reconciled and which requires attention one can easily drill down to find the transaction level details 
for any mismatches or other issues. Either one can correct their books or contact the supplier to make corrections at their end. Ultimately, this ensures that the books are always in sync with the portal data. Overall, the flexibility and intelligence which Tally has given in GSTR reconciliation will ensure that any manual intervention is minimal, leading to much faster closure of returns. Very intelligent for sure, Abhishek. Also, since you touched upon flexibility, we have seen that there has been a lot of volatility in the way composite suppliers and customers of a business may grow and become regular. GST rates may change, business locations may change and so on. Depending on the number of suppliers and vendors a business works with, this volatility creates a day-to-day -day nightmare to manage. What flexibility has Tally brought in to handle this? Right. These details are volatile and unpredictable. They change often, but from a particular date, and it's not retrospective. Therefore, Tally has brought in the flexibility of changing any of these multiple times if required with the concept of effective date. This ensures that the system accurately handles all transactions or returns for any given period. Let me elaborate with an example. Consider a scenario where a business changes the registration type of their own company from a particular date. The returns applicable to their previous registration type and for their new registration type will both be available to them based on that cutoff date. Linked to reconciliation and effective date, I have another question. What if there is an invoice recorded in May, but the supplier has not uploaded it yet? and the business wishes to consider it in June. Will this use case also be handled? Yes, Joyce. This can be handled too. Your voucher date will be as per your books and its impact on the GST return can be made to be in a different period as per the return effective date. Can this be done even after the returns are filed? Unfortunately, GST does not allow filing of revised returns. Once a return has been marked as filed, any changes made to the relevant transactions will automatically be reflected as amendments in Tally Prime for the subsequent filing period. Final question on GST Abhishek. We are in the sixth year of the GST era and in these years, Tally has given a lot of flexibility with respect to maintaining the tax rate and HSN numbers. I am just curious to know, can the best be made even better? For sure, Joyce. We have revamped the experience and added a new dimension of flexibility where users can now define tax rate and HSN code independently, as in, in different masters, etc. For example, most businesses typically have 2-3 tax rates applicable to them, say 5%, 12%, 18%. These can be maintained easily in ledgers. But there are huge number of HSNs which are ideally entered at the stock item master. And to ensure that there is full clarity at all times, we have also given a provision at every level to view where the tax rate or the HSN code is being picked up from, leaving no room for ambiguity. This can also be overridden if needed and allows you to make Entries for items or ledgers not available in your books by providing it directly in the voucher. Overall, giving 100% flexibility. And this is only a fraction of the capabilities that we have added to give you a delightful experience. I am sure that these new capabilities will make the compliance journey a lot easier and complete for businesses. Moving from compliance to a trend that's been a game changer for businesses in the last few years, digital payments. Businesses of all sizes are leveraging its power and that gives rise to the need of having greater flexibility for integrated payments and collection solutions through Tally. What can we expect in release 3.0? 3.0 not just comes with an integrated payment request feature, aimed at significantly reducing collection cycle time, but also comes with 
tremendous flexibility to set up payment requests as per business needs. Businesses can generate and embed payment link or QR codes into their invoices or other reports like ledger report, account confirmation report, etc. They can then share it with their customers through SMS or email. Customers can click on the link and then make payments through various modes. What's more exciting is that you can do this for multiple documents in a single shot through reports like daybook, receivable reports and so on. That means cash flow problems for our business owners are no longer a headache. With the collection of payment through various digital modes, businesses can always have cash on hand to invest in further growth. Definitely. And since we have various modes, the payer can choose the preferred mode of payment which will drastically increase the speed of money movement. Just to give the flexibility to the customers, even for an advanced payment, which does not even have a document, the payment link can be generated and shared. Sounds like your team took care of every little detail on payments. Feedback from our business owners and CAs must have been valuable. Does this feature have any prerequisites? Yes, it does. And that is where the beauty of simplicity lies. All you need to do is simply register with payment integrators like PayU or Razorpay. Once registered, they will provide you with the merchant ID and credentials. That's all you require to generate payment link from Tally. We have taken care of various scenarios where you can generate a payment request for part payments, lump sum payments and more. All possibilities have been covered. Although registration is recommended for optimizing the benefits of our payment solutions, Businesses can leverage the payment feature even without registering with the payment gateway. They can use the UPI based QR code which can be generated and appended in various documents. This indeed gives the business a much more flexible and integrated payment solution. But how will the businesses track the payments received through these links on a day to day basis? Tally Prime 3.0 is envisioned as a powerful single system for recording transactions, payment link generation and reconciliation. Now record keeping and reconciliation for single or multiple payment gateways can all happen on the same platform. We do it by importing the payment gateways statement into Tally, thus saving a lot of time and hassle in accounting. That along with the flexibility to maintain multiple payment gateways and different modes of payments in a single system truly makes Tally Prime 3.0 agile and powerful. Joyce, I want to show you one more thing. It is something that I am personally very proud of. As an old customer of Tally and now as part of the product team, I have always been amazed that with every release of Tally, we have improved the ability of our customers to analyze data and grow their business. With drill down, add column and more recently save you, I believe that we have the world's most powerful reporting engine. In the last few months, the team has taken it several notches higher to make it even more powerful with the report filters. Let's see how you can find just about anything in any report. What do you mean? When you can search anything you have entered in the transaction, it is one thing. What if you can find something you haven't even entered? Let's see. In the new powerful reports filter, you can even find things which are hidden. For example, you want to look for all transactions done on the weekend, say Sunday. See the magic. This is what I mean by anything. You won't see Sunday anywhere on the screen, but now you can see why a transaction was filtered. The day here is Sunday, which the system knows. Unbelievable. It's like finding a needle in the haystack. I know many businesses who do repeat cash sales without a ledger. They still need to know the sales made to that party. Is that also possible? 
Hmm, that's a great use case. 3.0 does that too. Just type the party name and here you are. You don't even need to tell which field you want to look into. If you want to filter for a particular field to be more precise, that too can be done in a click. Let's assume that a store owner wants to check the list of all stock items which have a closing balance of less than 15. Using this, he can reorder and not lose out on any sale opportunity. Here, the value of 15 is specifically for the field closing balance. You can choose that and now filter that too. Super. Many more use cases are coming to my mind. Let's try something more complex. There are cases where we need a combination of filters. For example, during audit, a CA wants to check all cash transactions which are above a particular amount. It is very relevant for them. Thanks for taking me through the next level of flexibility and ease. Let's check it out. In filters, you have an option for multi-filter. Just select cash and specify the amount. This gives you the filtered results. As you mentioned, this example is for CAs. The magic here is that you can save this too and then open the report every time with this conditional filter applied. I can go endlessly about the amazing use cases that give complete power and flexibility to businesses to analyze their data. But that will take way too long. These new filters bring a whole new level of power and simplicity to Tally Prime. I think this is a game changer for every business and more importantly for our CAs and tax practitioners. Auditing will become a super simple job across businesses and clients with all reports available at their fingertips. This reporting engine will truly revolutionize business analysis and insights. I am thrilled to see these innovations as shared by Abhishek today. A revamped GST experience with an unparalleled GSTR 2B recon capability, instant GST return reports, a magical reporting engine, and such a flexible payments collection process. It will surely make this a simply delightful business management experience. We hope you are as excited as we are for this new release of Tally Prime 3.0. We look forward to hearing about your experiences too. Thank, Thank you, you and, and take, take care. care. Thank you, Abhishek and Joyce. That was just amazing. I know my team and I are already loving using the new Tally Prime 3.0. Even simpler, even more flexible, and even more powerful, and more connected too. Today, we are proudly announcing the general availability of this latest release of Tally Prime 3.0. If you are a customer of Tally and have an active Tally software service subscription, or TSS as we like to call it, you can download Tally Prime 3.0 for free today. If you are a customer that doesn't have an active subscription, all you need to do is renew it and get the new product for free. And if you're not yet a customer and like what you see, please do reach out to your nearest Tally partner. Visit us at tallysolutions.com or call us to see how we can help your business. After this session, we have organized deep dive demos of 3.0 where you can get all the answers to your questions. Thank you, stay safe and stay healthy.